Hi, Johnny Engineer Termel, and I'm here at the Hemp Expo treating yourself with Robert Nero. Hi, everyone. One of the original MedPot fighters who back in the early 2000s had been denied an exemption. How long did it take you? Two years? Or? You get denied? Or? Yeah, before they deny you. Uh, I think it was like six months or something like that. Okay, well they wouldn't give you... Originally, and then the business is the waiting time for So they wouldn't give you an, an answer first. And, then, right. and did you give them an ultimatum? Then they gave yeah, you a no? We gave, we gave them a 30 days ultimatum. And then they said no? And then... Uh, or did they say yes? They gave it to me, but I mean, it was only like affected by me. Well, anyway, the point is, he went to court with Johnny Dupree same day, arguing, I want my exemption, you haven't been denied. Yeah, that's no, right. That's right. I want an answer. It's ten and years away, so it's like, yeah, yeah. you know, you need to be a real Anyway, the point is, the judge said, well, look it, waiting six, eight months is too long time, so you go, now, I got no paper here proving they said no, so you go give them a 30-day ultimatum, and then when they don't answer, you come back and see me. That's right, that's right. So ever since then, whenever we have people complain to us about, geez, we've been waiting for our new exemption for four months, Kathy Lewis in London last year, and we just say, well, listen, call them up and talk about the Nero Dupree case where Justice Roulon said they got 30 days to answer, or we presume no, and you can go see the judge. Actually, I think that it was a 30-day, uh, back then, if you remember correctly, all we wanted Health Canada to do was to produce the plastic card. Oh, yeah. Doctors Power, Health Canada, we, all we wanted them to do is to produce the plastic card, which took more than 30 days back then, <laughs> you know, just for the card, you know? <laughs> That's all we wanted them to do. We know they don't belong in the pub business, so we all wanted them to do to issue the plastic card, which over 30 days, which was unreal, and that's why we follow 30 day things. And now we're talking, we're meeting people who are talking about getting no exemption for 11 months, so there's still long delays. I heard a rumor there were 10,000 new applications in the last year, which is why they're so slow now. It's the fifth. Add another zero behind that. <laughs> maybe, maybe. We always lie, you know? I know. Well, now, to say 10,000 new applications... Why not 100,000 new applications? There are millions of people who use Canada. Yeah, yeah, but 10 is a pretty reasonable yeah. number. How about if I go, do you think the government will really say there's 100,000 people or 10,000 people? I think they would lie about there's so little queer people that use this cannabis that there's only 10,000 people. Well, we know there's over 100,000 people. But all they had to do was say 1,000. Yeah, that's right. Because we've only done 4,000 people in 10 years and we got 1,000 applications. Yeah, yeah, to say 10,000 has a ring of truth. Yeah. <laughs> they might have been. Anyway, the point is, if they can't cope with it, it means the MMAR doesn't work. And we have a whole bunch of people going in on a new constitution. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. To say these delays mean it doesn't work. And from Terry Parker Day, a new flaw, prohibition dead all the way back there. We hope anyway. So Robert's one of the growers who always at the Canadian Cup. Did you ever win, Robert? Did you ever. You sent in your pot. Did you ever come close? Uh, to an event. I participated in every event. Okay. Which event are you talking about? Have you ever won? Uh, no, because the most of every cup is fixed. Oh, so the marijuana cups are fixed. Yes, they are. Oh, wait, that, we, we take that back. Maybe it was. Hey, troublemaker, troublemaker. Anyway. So anyway, he's allowed to go down to the vaporization. He finally got his exemption. He's one of the five people that we beat the exemption. They said no originally. Yeah, that's right. They said no originally. No, originally they sent the cop and busted me. That's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Originally they sent the cop and they busted him. And we raised the fact, hey, how come he got busted right after he applied? So that's where you're protected when you're an applicant. You are sort of exempted. But didn't they drop the charges? Yes, after two years. Well, okay, but they dropped the charges anyway. I still got a lawyer for feet to pay. They never uh, paid, uh, we never got paid for our court battles. Yeah, so I still got my stuff with my original lawyer fee from way back then. <laughs> well, they dropped the charges, but nobody paid for the lawyer. Well, that's the real penalty, man. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Robert, it was a pleasure having no, you no, on no. the fight. And I'm glad you gave the interview yes, no for history. Here's one of the original MedPod fighters in the year 2001. He was in the Heaven 11 in the Supreme Court building. He was in the Magnificent Seven in Toronto. He was in the uh, something with five guys in the federal court. You know, uh, you know, it's my secret to remember all the court cases we've done. I talk about the court cases I've lost, but I only lost twice. We lost once when we asked for import and export. Of course, we were denied. 
and the second time we lost the way we asked for hash and oil. Of course we were denied that game. Don't say of course. Why would they want to make you smoke more impure stuff it's, when you can have the pure stuff? If the other is when you're sick in Canada, they make money off of you. If you're healthy, they don't make any money off of you. So they want us to smoke the fiber because you yell sick if you smoke. <laughs> Smoking is not good for you. So, yeah. Anyway, the fight goes on. Robert's supporting. Thanks a lot, Robert. I don't know about it all. Thanks, Thanks for the interview. Good stuff.